I always believe that the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. I'm Oscar Santo Tomas and I'd like you to walk with me and see how magnificent the XN Life is. The Philippines is a poor country, but I believe that the Filipino can succeed if given the right opportunity because the Filipino is hardworking as represented by this animal called the carabao. With DXN, the Filipino can. That's why I love this country, the land of promise. This is a tricycle a mode of transportation in the Philippines. Imagine, this is just driven by one motorcycle and it can be 10 people. This is how creative a Filipino can be. I worked as a medical representative for 10 years and all I accumulated was debt. And I was thinking, where will I go from here? I remember the days, me and my wife going to the market and uh, buying the cheapest food available because it was all I could uh, afford. And I wouldn't want my family to really experience what I have experienced before. That's, I, that's why I'm here. And when I started this business, it was only DXN that gave me hope. Now, after all those suffering, I'm free. I'm on a Philippine boat, it's called the Bangka, and it's very famous because of its ability to balance even on big waves. So it's very stable, like the XN. One day, when I go to the southern Philippines to meet him, so he bring me to the Philippine boat, okay, with the two, what they call, float at the side, the kind of scene cannot be seen. They say the XN is as strong, and he, he also believes in the XN, so he becomes successful. I found this company the perfect company for my family because I'm doing this business for them. I let him go. I said, I give you 100% support that the children will be in good hands. I want to follow the business because what my father has done, I also want to help other people prosper. He really wanted to change other people's lives faster. I see myself uh, following my father's footsteps. DXN is just like music. If everybody contributes just the correct note, then everything will be in harmony, and I believe that together we will make music. Yeah! Life is great because of DXN! I'm actually traveling for free right now. I have traveled to more than 30 countries worldwide, and now I'm in Hungary. All I do is ask people questions like, do you drink coffee? I know that nine will answer yes. And that, for me, is business. I'm not that office type of person. That's why I love DXN, because I can bring my business anywhere I want to go. Because this is actually a tag-along business. Do the business at the beach, you can bring it anywhere, because a DXN businessman is always free. trying to get money or trying to achieve the things that I want but it was not the right formula. The right formula is helping others first. 
so that you can help yourself. He is a person with a big dream and coupled with passion, commitment, and hard work. He is very supportive. Osler is awesome. <laughs> Osler Santo Tomas is a great leader. So, mga pita. Cheers! You know? I love DXN Life because this cup of coffee you can share with anybody. You will keep on stumbling, you'll keep on falling, but it doesn't matter. What matters most is how you get back up. And I'd like you to journey with me in DXN because together we can reach the top. Santa Thomas that come with me along and we will go together to the top that's what he meant actually he meant come along he also said something like if we all played our notes we can create music in DXN I love this guy because this guy is a phenomena when it comes up to motivation if you are feeling low if you're feeling depressed if you feel something that's been going not right in your life spend the next 45 minutes with Osler Thomas and you will realize what a person you actually are and what you need to do. Aap log sabhi log jo yahan pe jude hue jinko English bilkul nahi samajh mein aati unke liye main ye batana chahta hu ki DXN mein agar koi sabse behtareen motivational talker speaker hai jisne sach mein tehlka machaya hua hai puri duniya mein 30 deshon se bhi zyada deshon mein ghoom ke to wo hai hamare pyare Philippines ke Osler Saint Thomas aur मैं वक्त जाया नहीं करूंगा मैंने उनको फोन करने के लिए directly I'm going to go directly and give him a call because I have a set of five questions ready I'm going to ask him right away so let us see if we can give him a call Osla Osla are you ready yeah that is super fast that is why I said guys I like this guy he was super fast no need to call and here he comes so how are you Osla well, I'm doing good, uh, Dr. Jesso. How are you? I'm doing good too. And uh, we are here uh, at the special show that we do every Monday called as Coffee at Home because we were locked down and we did not knew that we could not have coffee outside. So we started this show and it's really picked up well. Now you, the, you as a guest, 111 people are watching you live right now. And I put my guest uh, to a set of uh, questions. You know, I drill them with five questions, which they. This is not a recording. This is a live session. So you have to answer them live. We test our guests' uh, the real potential if they really carry the whole weightage of their name and fame that they carry along. Are you ready? Always. Fantastic. <laughs> that's that's what I like about Osler. Ready always. So. Osler, uh, just before we start, how are things uh, about COVID-19 in your place? Uh, do you mean the pandemic right now? Yeah, the pandemic, yeah. Well, uh, everything is uh, slowly going back to normal. Actually, this is the first Monday that we're experiencing the general community quarantine. And 
a lot of people are going out already but uh, you know they need to earn money and they need to return back to their work and everybody's uh, scampering towards their work and uh, we're I'm, I'm really uh, uh, really I'm really concerned about uh, the pandemic because it might uh, escalate further because of the number of people traveling outside their homes right now okay okay so uh, we have Oslo Oslo we have um, a set of questions ready for you. I want to delve directly into the topic. And my first question will be uh, coming up on the screen next to you. It is, since you are a licensed civil engineer, you know, like uh, Dr. Lim, but you worked as a medical rep prior to DXN, what's your opinion on nutrition as medicine and modern medicine? How do you look that, that up? Well, first of all, I'm not a doctor, and uh, if you really want to know more about nutrition and medicine, you can always listen to Dr. Rajesh. No? So I make it a very simple analogy. So the way I look at it no, is uh, very simple. So I'm already 58 years old, and I've been doing DXN for the past 12 years of my life. And... I don't even have a single strand of white hair. And for the past 12 years of my life, I haven't experienced a headache. I'm extremely happy right now and I'm perfectly healthy. You know, I can run for one hour without stopping. I can swim for one hour without stopping. And everything's normal in my body. You know? I, don't, I don't really inhibit myself eating anything. Uh, but uh, I adhere to this principle. No? I believe that our bodies were created by somebody, no? and I call him the creator because I know that a lot of uh, people are listening to me right now. There are a lot of Indians, no? there are a lot of uh, Hindus, there are Muslims, there are Christians, there are Buddhists. And I know for a fact that everybody was created by somebody. No? So I refer to him as the creator. And I believe that... Uh, all I need to do to maintain this body is to provide it with everything it needs to really sustain itself. Because I believe that this, this body is meant to, to live a long life. And to do that, all I have to do is supply my body with what it needs. So I'm very healthy right now at the age of 58 because I've been supplying my body with what it needs. So I, I did my own research. I'm a civil engineer, and I, I really love understanding everything you know, because I'm an engineer, and I love simplifying things. So I would, I would like to talk to you right now like a doctor. You know? So I tried to reflect, and I noticed that my body only needs five things. First is I should provide my body with the food that it needs so that it can sustain itself and resist illnesses. Food. Second, I should provide my body with at least 8 to 12 glasses of water, clean water every day. And third, I should be breathing clean air. Fourth, I should be exercising at least a minimum of 30 minutes a day or and a minimum of four hours a week. And I should rest. I should rest. So I should sleep. So based on my research and my personal experience, I need about eight hours of sleep every day. So for the past 12 years of my life, I've been doing that. And I found myself to be very healthy. So nothing really spectacular in what I do. No? So I provide the food that my body needs. I provide enough water because I know that 75% of my body is water. I breathe clean air. I exercise for circulation. I sleep well. And, you know, I found out that I could be healthy as an individual. I used to be very sickly, you know. I used to be very sickly before. I remember having suffered uh, tonsillitis, you know, my, my throat, you know, when I eat sugar. Or even when I eat uh, very sweet fruit, you know, my, my, my tonsils will begin... Uh, uh, it will 
it will experience inflammation. No? So my tonsils almost uh, got operated on. So, but because I, I, I realized that I was not really providing my body what it needed. No? So it's very basic. Provide your body what it needs and it will be healthy. So this body is made by a creator. I think the main problem about the main problem about uh, people getting sick is uh, we 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 eat too much things that are not really made by the creator because remember we are human beings huh? and the creator made us in a special way so that he knows when we he created our, our bodies he knows that we should be providing our bodies with the uh, things he made also it's just like a car it's, a, it's just like a car you know i love cars and i remembered my first car when i bought the car i immediately looked at the manual and there i found the periodic maintenance schedule no? the first requirement was to bring in the car at 1000 kilometers so there they will change the oil they will tighten nuts they will uh, replace the filters and everything and then after 5,000 kilometers, I will bring it back again. Again, oil will be changed, filters will be changed, and they will do the necessary stuff uh, so that you will have a perfectly running vehicle. I think a lot of people are sick today because we keep on putting inside our bodies man-made stuff. Man-made stuff like processed food, medicines, uh, <laughs> no, uh, soft drinks. Anything that is man-made. No? So my rule is basic. No, I always put into my body that is God-made. That's sensible. No? That's that's uh, that's logic for me. No? So if I put inside my body what the Creator recommends, then I will be maintaining this body, and I will not never be sick. No, a lot of people are scared about COVID. No? I think it has been around for years. No? Now, uh, it's just uh, highly magnified because we have social media and we have a lot of doctors around, no? and we have uh, the news. No, before, no, during my time, no, I'm 58 years old. When I was in grade school, I could remember no? news from a city far away from my city would reach me in about a day or. Now, if there's an incident in Manila, for example, which is one hour and 40 minutes by flight away from my city, I can see it in a matter of 30 seconds because of social media. So I think uh, this uh, COVID thing, we just put a name there, has been there for so many years, but because of uh, social media and uh, the uh, fast, uh, fast uh, transmission of news, we are now afraid of everything. <laughs> There have been a lot of pandemics before, but we didn't have social media before, no? Like TB, no? And we have this black, uh, I, I, black, uh, no, no, I forgot. About it. It's a plague, no? It's, I think it's, it's, uh, I think it's uh, leprosy before. So, um, those were uh, uh, illnesses that were, were really scary before, until now, no? But we have found a way to really eradicate them by by uh, limiting exposures. No? So we isolate the people who are infected and we got rid of the diseases. No? So I think uh, people now have uh, lousy immune systems and our ability to, to really uh, defend ourselves uh, has been weakened because of things that are made by man. No? So that's, uh, you know, doctors. No? Doctors know only less than 10% of our bodies. We haven't, ex uh, for me, no, because I've been a uh, medical representative before. No, if I have nothing against uh, medical practitioners, but do you know that cancer has been around for decades? Even in uh, before the time of President Nixon, it has been around. He funded the uh, the U.S. government, no, more than one billion dollars for cancer research. No, if what they are doing is right, then we should have we should. Have, we should not ha be having problems with cancer right now. But why is it still one of the major reasons why a lot of people die? It is because, you know, 
the researchers haven't really found a cure to that. Now look at I have a lot of friends who are uh, experts in diabetes, but it's quite funny. I have, I know a lot of them have diabetes too. See, so that's that's uh, that's that's uh, the irony. I believe that's irony. <laughs> the irony of it. Now, you, you know about uh, diabetes, and still you're sick of diabetes. So that's uh, that's funny for me. Now, for me, it's basic. You provide your body with the five basic things it needs, and you'll be healthy. You'll, you'll be able to resist illness. See, that's 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 logical for me. So how did I? Uh, uh, how did I do it? I just eat fresh fruit. I avoid vegetables with a lot of chemicals. No, I I I, I eat uh, uh, healthily, and you know I drink a lot of supplements. No? So from DXN, of course. No? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, supplements they come in the category of food. The DXN, what you are talking about, is just uh, fitting into the um, you know you can say the lacunae of uh, the nutritional um, components that are missing from the proper food that we get uh, and DXN just fits into that category but what you summarize is amazing right food then you talked about the right amount of uh, you know liquid balance so water or beverages you can say coffee is also water you know when you drink coffee a lot or drink water a lot it's equivalently supplementing your body with water then you talked about the right kind of uh, exercise you know just be agile you know no need to have big muscles or something but we do some activity like you do you know you do mountaineering i've seen you doing swimming you're always active and then you took to, told about good sleep that is also very very important right and um, i think what you said is right you know if you do all this then we don't need the doctors Doctors are like lawyers, you know, if you fail, if you break the law, then you need the lawyer, you know, similarly, if you if you break the law of living, living a healthy life, you have to see a doctor, you know, so I always uh, say fantastically put. So uh, if I don't, if you don't mind, you know, is there a formula that you do every day with DXN products? I, I know uh, you definitely take DXN products, but do you follow a formula like this is what I do every day? Yeah. Of course, no. So, the number one thing I do when I wake up, no, I'm an early riser. No? So even if you talk for about three hours right now, I will wake up four o'clock in the morning. It's a, it's my body clock. No? So the first thing I do when I wake up is, of course, I open my eyes, no, <laughs> because a lot of people would tell me that they would would, would uh, brush their teeth. No? My the first thing that I do is I open my eyes, and then I I I, I, I rise up, and then. I immediately drink about a liter of water, so but I don't take it uh, straight away. I, I, I drink one glass at a time. And after drinking about four glasses of water, I take my supplements. So, so the first thing that enters my body is pure you know, because I know that I have rested. I have fasted for about eight hours. So my body needs nutrition. So I replenish the liquids that I have lost when I was sleeping, and then I immediately take about uh, four to six pairs of RGGL, 10 tablets of spirulina, three tablets of uh, uh, cordyceps, three tablets of uh, bee pollen, three tablets of lion's mane, um, one black cumin, uh, one androgy, and five tablets of rosel. So this is the first thing that enters my body. Imagine my body starved when I am sleeping. And then when I wake up, I drink water immediately and immediately I take all the supplements. So imagine taking this highly nutritious food. So almost everything in my, uh, that my body needs is supplied you know, just before breakfast. So a lot of times I don't take breakfast anymore because you know I believe that if, if you just take in the right amount of nutrition so you will never be craving for food a lot of people are hungry all the time because they don't eat the right food that the, their body needs so our bodies this is the most complicated thing that happens in our bodies no? because if you lack a nutritional element in your body your body is supposing you need vitamin c your body will never tell you oh you eat apples or you eat uh, oranges it will never tell you that no? you will never know what your body needs so so 
what we always feel is just hunger. So when we're hungry, it means that your body needs something. And if you don't eat the right uh, food that your body needs, after eating, even if you're full, you will still feel hungry. And because our, our, our body is so talented, it is so, so brilliant, no? whatever is eaten will be stored if it's not needed. So that's, a lot, uh, that, that's why a lot of body have belly fat. No? So it will only be used if your body needs it. So a lot of people now are fat because they keep on repeating the kinds of food uh, every day. No? Every day. On a daily basis, they eat their favorite kind of food. No? So the best way to really maintain weight for me is by diversifying what you eat. No? Meaning you eat different kinds of food every day so that every nutritional element that is needed by your body is uh, really supplied. No? So imagine in the morning, I take almost everything that my body needs. So I don't really uh, have these uh, hunger pants or I don't have these cravings. That's why I'm maintaining a very healthy body. So I think that is the key to perfect health. Fantastic. Let me summarize that for the people who do not uh, you know, understand English. Uh, Osler ne bahut hi behtareen tarah se samjhaya ki dekho maine inse sawal pucha ki modern medicine aur fir natural medicine ke beech mein aapko kya lagta hai aap ek civil engineer ho to unhone bahut achhi tarah samjhaya ki dekho main koi doctor nahi hu doctor nahi hone ke bawajood main aaj 98 saal ka hu aur mere na baal pake hue hai na kuch aise situation hai meri fir bhi inka raaz jo hai inka raaz hai wo paanch cheeze karte hai pehli cheez hai wo khana खाना वो सही खाते हैं फ्रेश फूड फ्रूट्स खाएंगे या फिर ऑर्गेनिक सब्जियां खाएंगे विदाउट केमिकल्स वाली ये सब वो खाएंगे और दूसरा वो है वो अपना पानी का जो इंटेक होता है वाटर बैलेंस वो मेंटेन करते हैं दिन भर में वो कुछ ना कुछ पानी पीते रहेंगे या फिर अपना बेवरेजेस पीते रहेंगे कॉफ़ी हो या चाय हो जो भी हो जिससे शरीर के अंदर पानी का मेंटेनेंस हो तीसरा वो एक्टिव होते हैं कहीं ना कहीं घूमना हो फिरना हो वो सब एक्टिविटी करते रहते हैं तो एटलीस्ट तीस मिनट से लेके चालीस मिनट वो एक्टिव रहते हैं ये फिर चौथा है वो सोते बहुत आराम से है नींद बड़ी बड़ी प्यारी ले लेते हैं और ये सब जो होता है ये करने के लिए वो अपने आप को हमेशा फिट रखते तो रेस्ट भी ज़रूरी है और वो जब ये ये जो चीज़ें करते हैं तो उनका शरीर जो है उनका शरीर को जो चाहिए वो सब मिल गया है इसीलिए उनका शरीर इतना मांगने के लिए तड़पता नहीं है इसीलिए उनको मैंने पूछा कि आप कौन सा डीएक्सएन का फॉर्मूला यूज़ करते हैं तो वो बोलते कि सुबह उठने के पहले जब मैं आँख खोलता हूँ तो सबसे पहले एक खाद लीटर पानी पी लेता हूँ थोड़ा थोड़ा एक एक गिलास करके उसके बाद मैं सप्लीमेंट्स लेता हूँ आर जी जी स्पिरुलिना फिर आ, अपना रोजेल हो गया कॉडिसप्स हो गया आ, फिर उन एंड्रोजी जो भी उनके बी पोलन जो भी अवेलेबल वहाँ पे वो पूरा ले लेते पहले बॉडी को सप्लीमेंट्स देने के बाद बॉडी में जान आ जाती है बॉडी के सेल्स में वो स्फूर्ति आ जाती है कभी कभी ब्रेकफास्ट भी नहीं करते उस पर पूरा टिक जाते हैं और वही से उनका आप फिटनेस देखो यू आर श्योर यू आर नॉट डाइंग योर हेयर No, I'm not dying my hair, and uh, wow. people would not believe. Wow, that is 58-year-old young man, Osler. Wow, I really, I want everybody to see that. You know, yes, look at that. No, Osler. You know, it's very important that people understand this. You know that you're talking about now. How many years are you in DXN now? Almost twenty. Uh, I'm here for yeah, twenty, twenty years. Now we are talking to a man who is taking supplements, not. Over a year, uh, two years. Who's not talking about a transformation that has happened over six months? We are talking about a man for last twenty years. He has been taking supplements, and he stands still strongly with the brand only because the brand has made him what he is today, fit and fine. And he had his own health uh, challenges before he uh, actually got introduced to DXN, and he has been able to achieve DXN uh, through DXN. Definitely major goals in his life. We are going to go forward and ask him more. आप लोगों को ये बताना चाहता हूँ अट्ठानवे साल के हैं एक भी बाल सफ़ेद नहीं है सुस्त है तंदुरुस्त है और ऐसे है हमारे ऑस्लर सबसे प्यारे हैं लेकिन अगर डीएक्सएन में कोई सबसे बढ़िया मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर है तो वो है हमारे ऑस्लर इफ देर इज समबडी हु कैन रियली फाइंड योर मोटिव फॉर यू एंड मोटिवेट यू इन टू डूइंग समथिंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ दैट इज आर ऑस्लर सो लेट्स गो विथ ऑस्लर 
for our second question, Osler, second question for you. I believe fear is one of the most primal human emotion that has both a physiological and an emotional response. As a motivational speaker, how would you help someone who's struggling to win over their fears? Well, uh, that's a very good question, uh, Dr. Rajesh. And I could perfectly relate to uh, people who are really in fear right now because um, I used to be fearful also. So I was raised in a very poor family and uh, my parents really fought over money. So, you know, I had a lot of insecurities before. So, you know, do you know that before... I, I remember I was in high school and my teacher would call me and ask me a question. And even if I know the answer, I would really try to hesitate answering. And when I stand up, my knees would shiver in fear because I was so ashamed of myself. I was so fearful in really... Uh, answering, even if I think that my answer was correct, I was fearful because I was afraid that I would commit a mistake. And I would like, I would not like to really experience the pain of uh, being, uh, uh, being uh, ridiculed in public. So, uh, but now I can actually, I have spoken to more than 15,000 people and I also had the fear speaking in front of a computer because I could not see the eyes of people who are listening to me. But why am I so confident and so passionate talking to you right now? Why was I able to really get the confidence in speaking in magnitudes of people? I've been uh, together with Dr. Rajesh in numerous uh, leadership camps around the world and you could truly say that I'm very confident. I was, I had this uh, fear of facing people before, but how did I overcome it? I just discovered. No? And if I could perfectly recall it, no, somebody told me to do what I fear most. No? If you really want to overcome your fear, all you have to do is do what you fear most. So, so that's a very simple uh, uh, principle. You know, I had this fear of heights before. No? So whenever I go to malls and buildings and when I reach the top floors no? and when I try to reach these railings and then I, I try to look at the ground. No? So... I would have this uh, funny feeling. No, my 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 feet will have this tingling, this sensation. I will have sweaty palms, and you know, uh, sometimes I walk on top floors, and then the floors are shiny, and I will have this illusion of really like falling. No? So I had this fear, no? but how did I lose this fear? So I I I began climbing mountains, no? and I never realized that I lost that kind of fear anymore. Now, even if I stand on a stone, no, at the edge of a cliff, I will never fear, I will never have that fear of falling again because I have overcome it. So I know that uh, only about 1% of fears are really true. No? Uh, you know, a lot of people are fearful of ghosts, but no, maybe until I see one, no, I'll be fearful of that. But, you know, I... I I would advise people who are fearful of ghosts to, to be afraid of people who are living because they can inflict harm to you. I'm 58 years old. I have never seen a ghost in my life. So, you know, I have I have met people who are fearful of succeeding. I have met a lot of tons of people who are fearful of facing people and talking to them eye to eye. So, my advice to people who are really fearful is to just do it. No? Do what you fear most. And that is the best medicine to that. So, uh, I can never, I can never uh, help you get the fear out of your mind. No? The only person who can really 
uh, overcome that fear is you. And all you have to do is decide to do it. And the key to to doing that is by preparing yourself. Preparing yourself. So if you are fearful of speaking in front of people, practice. No? Do your own research on how to speak in front of people well. Join organizations that will help you uh, build the confidence to speak in front of people. So if you are fearful of approaching people like recruiting people to join you, then master it by approaching people. No? Do it. I, I always uh, recommend this to newbies, no? especially people who are just working inside offices and who are really introverted. No? I, I've met a lot of people who are silent, who are the silent type, you know, and they they have uh, uh, difficulty in relating with people. So what I do is I teach them to greet people enthusiastically. You know? So I teach them, okay, go out and greet people. Good morning. You know? Just, uh, just uh, increase your... Uh, your your uh, tone of voice and be more enthusiastic about greeting people because I know people respond in so if you're not comfortable uh, in opening up conversations just greet people anybody you meet just greet them enthusiastically and passionately and because people will respond kind they, they will respond to you the way you you greeted them so so again for people who are fearful of anything do what you fear most fantastic so, you know, when, when, when people go out, I go out prospecting and uh, you say you face your fears, you know, and uh, if I go out prospecting, the only fear that, uh, or probably not one of the uh, fears that comes into me is what about rejection? What about uh, I'll feel so embarrassed? What will people think about me? Suddenly, the focus that I'm uh, is suddenly you, you know, you start getting so much bothered about yourself. How, how can one handle that? Because he has to go again. You're saying he has to go again and do that with another person. Go again and prospect with another person. That's tough, man. Yeah, I know. I experience it myself. No? So uh, approaching people really with the wrong way of approaching is really painful for anybody. It will be a very, very uh, difficult experience for the individual. You know, when I was starting out, I was really enthusiastic and I was so aggressive. I should say very aggressive in my approach. No? So when I invited people, I always talk about money and I always uh, tell them that if you do this business, then you will become financially free and blah, blah, blah. So I was so aggressive and people would really avoid me. People would avoid me. So at first I thought that there was something wrong with me. And I thought that people didn't like me as a person. So I kept on doing... No, it, I kept on inviting people. I kept on repeating the process. And so I learned that it was not about me. So it was not really about me. So, you know, I cannot teach you how to approach people. Again, the best way to do it is to do it yourself. Uh, a lot of people, would, would, a lot of leaders would tell new distributors that you only copy what others do. So, you know, I'm, I'm not a believer of that because... We are unique individuals. No? You can never copy my style because I'm Ostler and I don't have an equal because I'm unique. I was created by our, by God as a person who was uh, even twins, no? even identical twins are not the same. So I can say this because I'm a hard-headed individual. No? I, I learned network marketing the hard way. No? So my, my sponsor would often teach me how to do it, but what he does would go inside my right ear and go outside my left ear because he felt that I was better than him. So I never listened. So I learned prospecting the hard way. So I approached people and a lot of people really rejected me. You know? Sometimes I'm a, I used to be a medical representative and I would go to hospitals and really find people who are like me, you know? medical representatives. So remember... When they enter hospitals, I would see them because uh, they cover, they, they, they would visit medical practitioners. No? So I would find them inside clinics, no sitting. And when they see me, I would, see, I would notice that they would whisper among themselves. And then I could hear them. No? They have very little voices and they would whisper, oh, here comes Osler. He talks nothing but he extends. So let's avoid him. Actually, 
first they run no? and they even called me a virus no? <laughs> covid was not even uh, present at the time so they called me a virus no and i was wondering why were they running and i tried to make uh, an analogy out of it no? so I, i i remembered that my approach was wrong my approach was wrong all all, all i talked about was money earning money earning money earning money so my approach was wrong but i was able to perf the art of really inviting people to join me and i lessened the people saying no so i found out that people would say no because they don't really like the products they don't really like the opportunity and they don't have the time a lot of people would say that and when when people say that respect them no? and they are still your friends but this is what really made me confident about my approach and i was not so fearful of hearing no's anymore because if my approach was right then if they say no that must be real no because uh it's not about me it's not about the company it's all about perfect timing so what did i do i changed my mindset so when i approach people this is always my top of mind i always ask a question when i approach people i always ask myself how can i help this person improve his life Correct. so this is my top of mind awareness because if you are really genuinely uh, interested in helping other people uh, improve their lives then you will never be wrong about it because people will perceive you as a sincere and honest honest individual so uh, i learned the skill by really doing it on a day to day basis no you know when i was starting in the exam oh during my first two years i was talking to more than 100 people every day. more than 100 people every day mm. see so if you really want to perfect the art of inviting people all you have to do is do it on a day to day basis that's it there's no magic formula there because we are psycho cybernetic organisms we don't want to repeat the same kind of mistake all over and over again because you'll be experiencing the pain of that mistake so as a psycho cybernetic uh, human beings we try to avoid that so if we are in our perfect mind uh, perfect minds so we try to avoid mistakes now so when i when somebody says no i always ask myself why did he say no was there something uh, was, was there something in the way i approached him was there some some word that i spoke of that was not pleasing to him so there i was able to improve no that's why i can uh, share to you because it has been my experience no? so nobody can really uh, give a clear cut uh, instruction on how to invite all you have to do is go out in the marketplace and really implement how to do it you will have your own style and that's a guarantee that's the way you know how do you cycle you sit on the cycle and cycle you, that's the best way how do you swim you just go into the water and start swimming yesterday we had shunya talks and uh, and we do this sunday every evening uh, dr lim comes for this shunya talks and what you said uh, exactly is what doctor yesterday was teaching us the six good practices that you need to do to connect with the society and first of that was the first one the most topmost of them was the attitude to give if you have the attitude to give only then you should go into the society if you have the attitude to take don't go into the society people will reject you you have to go with the attitude to give and this is very very powerful then he said about is for giving attitude you need to have a character so build up your character build up morality be a good person do not take what does not belong to you do not disturb the harmony of the society be a good spoken person all those things so bring build up your morality and then go out there and exert the go out there with enthusiasm you know have that excitement so that you go in the market and then exert effort with that enthusiasm then you'll be whacked around come back so realize what you did go back again this is what he told is the formula for success and i think it's exactly the same thing that you said so just to wrap it up in a few lines to the uh, hindi speakers jo osler ne bataya bahut hi simple bataya hai ki aapko agar aapko kisi cheez ka dar lagta hai dar agar dar 
कॉमन है ऑस्लर को भी डर लगता था ऊंचाई से डर लगता था तो कैसे जीता उन्होंने पहाड़ चढ़ के जब उनको बोलने का डर था लोगों के सामने तो उन्होंने बातें करके जीता प्रोस्पेक्टिंग का डर था तो प्रोस्पेक्टिंग करके दिन में सौ सौ लोगों को मिल उन्होंने ये डर जीता डर को जीतने का एक ही और एक ही तरीका है और वो है उस डर का सामना करना बिना डरे वो आप जाओ डर लगेगा लेकिन आप मत डरो और आप उस चीज़ का सामना करो क्या हो सकता है ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा आप उस चीज़ में फेल हो सकते हो लेकिन खड़े होकर वापस वही काम करो आपने बचपन में चलना भी वैसे ही सीखा था आप गिरे थे हज़ार बार और फिर भी आपने खड़े होकर चला था आपने साइकिलिंग भी ऐसी सीखी आपने स्विमिंग भी ऐसी सीखी इसीलिए डर को जीतना आपको आता है सिर्फ आपकी इच्छा होनी चाहिए जैसे ऑस्लर कहता है आप डिसीजन लो और सब कुछ सही हो जाएगा ओके ऑस्लर वी गो टू द थर्ड क्वेश्चन ओके एंड हियर इट इज देर आर मेनी सेल्फ हेल्प बुक्स आउट देयर Do you believe, really believe, they can help the person change himself? Of course, no. Self-help books are available out there, and they can definitely help people. Because I'm one person who has helped. No, you remember, I'm in the Philippines. No, and I, I have, I didn't have access to mentors when I was starting. So what really helped me were books. No, so I would suggest that. Uh, you choose books that are that are having authors who are teaching you because of their experiences. Because there are a lot of books out there that are really, I should say, third party book because they have authors who are talking about somebody. So I would suggest you look for books that are authored by people. and telling people about their experiences yeah, exactly. because they are talking from their hearts so it's very easy to to find books for you if you for example no if you are weak at communicating mm -hmm. so you find books that will teach you how to communicate well if you are weak at your interpersonal relationships with others I suggest you you find books that will teach you how to really relate with people and, and communicate with people. So before, when I was starting out, although I was a medical representative and I was a salesman at that, no, my uh, network marketing is a different industry, mm -hmm. and the approach is different from the way I approached doctors before. It was different. So what I did was I studied. human behavior and one really good book that really helped me and i would like you to read although it's a really old book you no know, it's one made by andrew carnegie aha uh -huh. you no know? and it's entitled how to win friends and uh, no, andrew dale carnegie it's uh, entitled how to win friends influence people. influence people so i would like you to buy that book you no know? but there's a portion there that i think it's outdated you no know? you uh, complimenting something you know, like uh, complimenting one's hair or one's shoes or one shirt no? i think even if you're so sincere in complimenting the person about his hairstyle or the ring he wears or the watch he wears even if you're so sincere about complimenting it people may perceive it as a uh, manipulative move no? because if you invite them to join dxn then they will tell themselves oh he noticed my hair because he will invite me to do dxn and if i join he will earn money so that's uh, where vested interest comes in so i advise you to really focus on talking about the weather or talking about things that are not really related to that person so i would i would rather talk about the weather oh it's so hot today so 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 that's the only thing that I, I don't agree in that book. No? But otherwise, that book is perfect because it's illustrated by a lot of stories, a lot of examples, and it could help you out. It could really help you out. If it helped me, it can help you. So, books are really a good way to really improve yourself. No, I'm I'm very successful in my field right now. I speak well, but I still read books on a day-to-day -day basis. I read books on a day-to-day -day basis. That's a minimum of about 10 books every day. As a matter of uh, as a matter of fact, so no, I'm re reading, reading one right book now. right yeah. now by Yeah, this is uh, John Maxwell. Maxwell. Okay, this is John Maxwell's book. Okay, yes. Yeah. Developing the leader within you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
So this has been, I have read this about five times. I'm, I'm reading it again and I'm, I'm finding new insights. So, so, so uh, the person who stops really reading is a part a person who stops growing. Uh-huh. So if you really uh, want to improve, improve on the daily basis and reading books is one way to do it. Now, another way is to listen to listening to audio training tapes. So if you look at my phone, you cannot find music in my phone. No, you can never find music here. You can only find trainings. No? So I have a recorder there. I record everything and I listen. I even record my personal trainings. And when I listen to myself, I still learn. Yeah. See, so every day I read, I take down notes, I, I improve on myself. So everybody who does this will really be be improving as a person. So you will never become a leader if you are not a reader. And people will follow you because of who you are as a person. So if you want to attract people who are successful, then you must begin making yourself successful. And one way of doing that is by reading. So I advise everybody to read at least 10 pages of a good book every day. It is very important to understand that a book is very important for a motivation. So they told me that it is very important to read it. आजकल YouTube है सब कुछ तो उन्होंने बोला नहीं किताब पढ़नी चाहिए वो खुद इतनी किताबें पढ़ते हैं किताबें पढ़ने से आप में वो स्किल्स आने शुरू हो जाते हैं जो आपको सक्सेसफुल बनाएगा और अगर आपको सक्सेसफुल बनना है और सक्सेसफुल लोगों को आपके साथ जोड़ना है तो किताबें तो पढ़नी होगी और 10 पेजेस मिनिमम कम से कम आपने ये आदत डालो पढ़ने की ये पढ़ाई की आदत आपको हमेशा आगे की तरफ लेके जाएगी ये कभी भी आपको पीछे नहीं लेके जा सकती इसलिए पढ़ो और पढ़ो वो किताबें जो आपको जो जिसने लिखी है अपनी जीवनी के बारे में जो अपने बारे में बता रहा किसी का रेफरेंस देके पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है अपने बारे में कोई ऑथर अगर लिख रहा है तो उसको जरूर पढ़ो देखो हमारी हमारी सबसे बेहतरीन चीज उन्होंने बताया कि उनकी जो एक किताब है uh, how to win friends and influence people ye badi famous kitab hai aapko hindi mein bhi milegi aap usko zarur padhiye usme se kuch cheeze zamane ke sath change ho jate the jinhone kara jise ki aap kisi ke compliment karo aapke baal bahut sundar dikh rahe hai aapki ghadi achhi dikh rahi hai to usko aap chhod do kyunki zamane ke sath badalna chahiye bxn ke business ke sath aapko badalna padega lekin uske alawa kitab mein har cheez jo batayi hai osler ne khud apne life mein practice ki aur wo unki taraf se recommended hai so that is one book you would definitely recommend everybody to read how to win friends and influence people exactly that's it that is osler's prescription for you all okay osler we go to the next question and next question for you question number 4 is what is the reason that with the most amazing range of products and a genuine legitimate business plan. Many DX and distributors are not yet able to achieve what they really aim for financially in DXN. Well, that is uh, related to your first question. Yeah. A lot of people fail in DXN is one of the reasons is they haven't developed themselves first. So you know, this is an industry where you generate sales by involving people into the system. So you will never attract people if you have not developed yourself. Because remember, in this business, you attract your kind. So the first thing you should do is develop yourself. And one of the parts that you should be developing is your mind. You must understand that for you to succeed in this business, you must really research about this industry. Do you know that it took my wife five years? Let me repeat. It took my wife five years to really let me fully understand about this business. Because if somebody listening to me right now is negative about this industry, it is because you have not understood this industry at first. And that is exactly what happened to me. I was so negative about this business because I should say I was ignorant about this industry. And because I was, I didn't understand this industry, I refused to accept any positive things that people are saying because this is the logic behind that. 
even if somebody tells me about something, I would always think that you are only saying that because if I join you, you will earn money from me. So that is vested interest. No? So I was like that because I did not understand what the principles of this business are. I did not understand what the potential of this industry is. So what I did was I, I, I read books. I listened to training programs. Also, the, I remember the first book that I read about network marketing was authored by John K. Lynch. Being the Best That You Can Be by John K. Lynch. It's a blue book. It's an old book. There I got to understand what this industry is about. Of course, I, I read a lot of books like Street Smart uh, Networking. I read uh, a book by Charles W. King. No? So if, if you really want to fully understand what's, what this industry is about, I would suggest that you buy the book entitled The New Professionals by Charles W. King. And who is this Charles W. King? He's actually a marketing guru. No? He teaches marketing at Harvard. Mm -hmm. And he wrote this book, The New Professionals, because a lot of people were being sued. Government had a negative impression about this industry. A lot of people were clam clamoring about what this industry was about. So he became very, very curious about this book. And he did the research by himself. And he fully understood that this is a perfectly market. Uh, this is a perfect marketing model for people who doesn't have the capital and wants to do business and wants to earn it. No, there is nothing wrong with this industry. I can perfectly, I can honestly say that there is nothing wrong with the network marketing industry or the multi-level marketing industry. There is something wrong with the people operating this industry. So that is where the problem is because there are a lot of frauds there. There are a lot of people who take advantage of other people and they create a negative image about this industry. So I suggest that you you read books about what this industry is about so that you have a full understanding so that when people will try to really talk you out of it, you don't listen to them because you are the person who understands it well, uh, this industry well. So this is what happened to me. Now, after I learned this, so I stopped uh, being so emotional when somebody says no to me. I, I stopped uh, uh, thinking that I was being rejected because I fully understand that these people who are rejecting me do not really understand what I'm doing. So the problem with a lot of people is they find people, they look for people who doesn't want to do this business. Why am I so successful about this business? Because I have never forced anybody to do this. Because I always look for people who want to do this business. That's it. No, so uh, this is my guarantee to you. While DXN was made and designed for everybody to see, DXN was not made for everybody to do. And I'm very happy for that. You know why? Because if everybody will be doing DXN, then everybody will be financially free. So when I go to a restaurant, no, nobody will be serving me food anymore. Nobody will be washing my cars anymore. So that will be terrible for me. So no, so I, I'm good with it. So the accent is not for everybody. It's like Vespa. Vespa, not for everybody. So this is just for people who understand how to earn money faster. This is just for people who want to understand how to become free. No, I've been doing this business for more than 20 years now. I've been in this industry for 22 long years. And I can truly say that I am a free man. And I'm truly happy. You can see me while I'm talking to you. I cannot see you, but I'm so happy. I'm so enthusiastic. So, so this is what this industry made me. So for people who are not succeeding here, I would like you to do your research. And once you understand this industry, no, nobody can stop you because you will be... You now, when I was starting out and I understood this well, you know, I was like a corn. I was in India before and I kept on eating this grilled corn you know, over charcoal. So I'm just like grilled corn. I kept on rolling on my bed. You know? So when I lie down, you know, so I remember I, I go out at 6 a.m. I go home at 3 a.m. And, you know, I can't st still I cannot sleep. 
because I was so excited because my mind was full of this hope that one day uh, every dream that I have will come true. And I was so excited because of the possibilities that would happen to my life. And after 22 years, now, oh my God, now, even if I don't work from now until the end of my life, I will never have a problem about money. See, so that is what DXN has done for me. So for, for people who, have, who are not really successful yet and who are really discouraged because the results are not there, keep on doing it because you will find solutions. No, DXN is there. The system is there. No, so if something is wrong, you're not getting what you want, then try to check what you're doing. So something is wrong with what you're doing. So try to improve it in yourself because the company, DXN, is there to support you. So I'm sure of that because I'm with this company for the past 20 years of my life. <laughs> 20 years. See? So... Okay, let it me will make summarize. You. Yeah, let me summarize. Ostler ne bahut behtareen tarah se main jo unko sawal pucha ki aisa kyu hota hai ki kuch log na DXN mein aake utne successful nahi hote ya sapne to bade bade dekh ke aate hain lekin nahi hote to unhone bhi apna jo experience ke basis pe ek reason bataya ki DXN sab ke liye hai nahi agar aisa hota to sab financially free hote to shayad koi hotel mein kaam nahi karta तो ये कोई यहाँ वहाँ काम नहीं करता ये सब के लिए नहीं है ये किसी किसी के लिए जो सपने पूरे करना चाहता है जिनको ये चाहत है कि अपने को अपने ये डीएक्शन के अपॉर्चुनिटी से अपने सपनों को पूरा कर सको तो पहली चीज़ उन्होंने पहला कि अपने आप को टटोलो पहले अपने अंदर देखो झाँको और देखो कि अपने अंदर क्या कमी है उस कमी को आप सुधारने की कोशिश करो दूसरा सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम जो वो बोलते कि जब वो भी शुरुआत में आए थे तो एक दो साल उनको भी परेशानी हुई थी क्योंकि वो ये इंडस्ट्री को ही नहीं समझ पाए थे और इंडस्ट्री को नहीं समझने की वजह से बहुत तकलीफ हुई फिर उन्होंने एक अच्छी किताब के बारे में आपको बताया कि ये किताब अगर आप पढ़ोगे ये जो है द न्यू प्रोफेशनल्स उन्होंने ये किताब के बारे में बताया आपको कि ये किताब अगर आप पढ़ोगे तो इसमें भी आपको इंडस्ट्री के बारे में पता चलेगी आपको जिनके पास पैसे नहीं है वो कैसे बिजनेस करें ये उसके लिए अपॉर्चुनिटी है तो आप पहले इंडस्ट्री को समझो उसके व्यवहार को समझो उसको जानो और फिर पूरी मेहनत लगा के जितना भी फेलियर आए उस फेलियर का सामना करते करते आगे ही निकलना क्योंकि बीस साल हो गए अभी ऑस्लर को बीस साल में वो अभी फ्री है 58 एट ईयर्स के है लग तो नहीं रहा है वो करीबन 40 साल के लग रहे हैं और 58 एट ईयर्स अठारह साल पीछे जा रहे हैं वो सोचो और अभी भी फाइनेंशियली फ्री है अभी भी वो घूम सकते हैं अभी वो सब कुछ कर सकते हैं दैट इज अमेजिंग सो ऑस्लर नाउ दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर द गाइज हु आर वॉचिंग वी विल टेक अप फ्यू क्वेश्चन आफ्टर माई क्वेश्चन सो नाउ आफ्टर माई क्वेश्चन यू कैन पुश पुट योर क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन Now I go with my last question, and my last question to you, Osler, is: What is that one message that you would love to share with the world before you leave this planet? A okay. More direct one. So, but I wanted to ask you this. If I were, to, if I were to share one message you know, for people who are listening to me right now before I leave this planet, is I would like you to live. the life of your dreams it is possible a lot of people have lost hope because even though they are trying so hard working even if they are so really industrious in their lives they have lost hope because what they want really never is achieved now I'm a person who is living the life that I want. When I was starting my life journey, I really wanted to become financially free because I come from a very poor background. And I have seen a lot of my parents efforts go to really i should say waste no? because how could poor parents teach their children how to become financially free 
So it's been my life's goal to really be financially free because I got tired of buying the cheapest food for my family. I got tired of really uh, pay, uh, living from paycheck to paycheck. I got tired of living a life that uh, really made me suffer because I could not pay the debts that I had. And I really got tired of being a father who could not, could not provide. I know a lot of people are listening to me who are from India. And I know that a lot of you are suffering financially because I've been there. I've been to your country and I stayed in your country for about two months. And I know a lot of you are suffering financially. So I would like you to know what you want because the first thing that you should do for you to live your life, that, to live the life that you really want is to really know what you want. So after the training program, I would like you to go home and I would like you to find yourself a, a silent corner inside your house and I would like you to honestly ask yourself, what do I really want in life? I cannot answer that for you. Your friends cannot answer that for you. The only person who can answer that is yourself. And I would like you to be true to yourself and ask yourself honestly, what do you, what do I really, really want? If you cannot answer that question, you will never become free. You will never live the life that you really want. The reason is, you will never be passionate about what you're doing. Because if you are going after something that you don't like, the, then there will be dissatisfaction. You will never have this burning desire to really go for it because you don't want it. Even if your target is so small. So I would like you to really ask yourself, what do I really want? Because if you know it, you will be having that burning desire and you will be so passionate pursuing it. And the next question is, can DXN help me get what I want? If DXN cannot help you get what you want, then by all means, don't do this business. But if DXN can help you, do this with all your heart because it can set you free. My friends, DXN is not about cars. I have bought a lot of them and I got tired of really buying them. I have two cars right now and I could not even clean it because there are no people cleaning now. I would not like to clean it myself because it's too tiring for me. DXN is not about traveling. I have traveled to more than 60 countries. For... I thought that DXN was all about traveling. I thought that DXN was about having so much money in your bank. It was never it. Do you know what DXN is all about? DXN is about being free. I'm very happy right now because I'm a free man. I don't know what it means to you. What is freedom to you? It will vary from person to person. But for me, living a life of freedom is going to any place I want to go anytime I want to go. Freedom means buying anything I want to buy anytime. Anytime I want to buy. Freedom for me is waking up when I'm finished sleeping. Freedom for me is not being sick. Freedom for me is helping a lot of people live the life that I'm living now. 
So, my message to all of you is, I'd like you to live the life that you really, really want. And if DXN can do it, I can help you do it, go for it. Because if it happened to me, it can happen to you. Wow. A very touching but a very good message. Both a chitra samjaya oslorne ki many saval pucha bothi dilko chune wala saval pucha pucha ki agar is dunya se agar aapko jana pada to wo konsa ek message aap dete jaonge jaoge in logo ke liye to unhone kya bola ki aisi zindagi jiyo you know jo aap chahte ho jaisa aap chahte ho aur waisi zindagi jeene ke liye aapko sabse pehle hona padega free अगर आप फ्री नहीं हो तो आप चाह के भी वो जिंदगी नहीं जी सकते हो तो पहले अपने स्वतंत्रता के लिए जी एक कुछ करो आप जाओ अपने घर में जाओ और शांति से एक जगह पकड़ो उसमें आप थोड़ा मेडिटेट करो कि मुझे क्या चाहिए क्या मेरे को इस जिंदगी से और वो जब आपको पता चल जाएगा फिर निकल पड़ना इस दुनिया के बाहर और फिर इस दुनिया में आके वो करना जो आपने वहाँ बैठ के सोचा था कि क्या चाहिए और उस चाहत के लिए पूरी जिंदगी लगा देना और वो तभी हो सकता जो उन्होंने बताया कि स्वतंत्रता के बाद ही स्वतंत्रता का डेफिनेशन उन्होंने फ्रीडम का डेफिनेशन बहुत अच्छी तरह समझाया फ्री या स्वतंत्र वो है जो वो चीज़ खरीद सकता जो उसे चाहिए बिना पैसे के बारे में सोचे स्वतंत्र वो है जो सुबह उठे जब उसकी नींद पूरी हो जाए ना कि अलार्म से काम पे जाने के लिए स्वतंत्र वो है जो वो चाहे वो कर सके कहाँ खाना है जो कपड़े खरीदने हैं जब करी बिना उसका लेबल देखे बिना कीमत देखे स्वतंत्र वो है जो समय की पाबंदी में किसी के नहीं है वो जो अपना करना चाहता है वो करते रहता है स्वतंत्र वो है जो अपनी ज़िंदगी अपने हिसाब से जीता है और बहुत अच्छी तरह समझाया कि आप डीएक्शन को अगर ये नज़र से देख रहे हो कि इससे पैसा मिलेगा ये मिलेगा वो तो नहीं उन्होंने भी पैसे के लिए कार्य किया था देखा बहुत पैसे गाड़ी के लिए डीएक्शन अगर गाड़ी है तो कार उनके पास दो दो पड़ी हुई है अगर आप सोच रहे हो डीएक्शन ट्रैवल के लिए सिक्सटी डेज कंट्रीज घूम के चुके हैं हॉस्टलर और उन्होंने ये पता चला कि डी ट्रैवल भी नहीं है एक चीज़ लेकिन डी है फ्रीडम और डी के उन डी उनके लिए वो जरिया बना उन को फ्री करने के लिए ताकि वो अपने सपने जी सके वो अपने जो भी जिंदगी जीना चाहते हैं इसीलिए जाते जाते उनका मैसेज बहुत क्लियर है ऑस्टलर का मैसेज ये है कि अगर आपको लगता है कि डीएक्शन आपके लिए वो सहारा बन सकता है आपके सपने पूरे करने का तो उसको फिर बिना सोचे समझे पूरी तरह हंड्रेड करो और फिर देखो ये जिंदगी क्या आपको देगी और डीएक्शन कैसे देगा ओके ग्रेट ऑस्टलर इट वॉज एज यूजल अ फैंटास्टिक मोटिवेशनल प्रोग्राम वी गॉट अ थिंग्स टू लर्न आई थिंक वी आर डूइंग दिस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस इज गोइंग बैक इन हिस्ट्री यू नो टूडे इज डेट वी विल रिकॉर्ड दैट एटीन ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई एम यू वी डिड द फर्स्ट लाइव मोटिवेशनल टॉक एंड येस वी हैड अज नंबर ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट्स वॉचिंग एज लाइव टू हंड्रेड ऑट पीपल एंड देन दिस वीडियो इज देर ऑन फेसबुक सो पीपल वॉच इट अगेन लेटर ऑन एंड दिस विल बिकम वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बेसिक टूल्स फॉर पीपल टू गो बैक एंड रिफर सो ऑसलो वी टेक इन अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पीपल एंड देन वी कैन रैप अप द प्रोग्राम बिकॉज वी आर ऑलरेडी रनिंग लेट सो वी कैन जस्ट टेक अ क्विक क्वेश्चन लेट मी जस्ट सी इफ एनी बडी हैज़ अ क्वेश्चन uh okay let us see now we have uh alan alan esmeralda saying indeed the best motivator and the most prolific motivational speaker of dx in as promoted above yes alan for sure that was for you osler i right, thank you alan okay then we have he's my downline that's why he's your downline no he's he's uh, osler part 2 so little small osler so we have uh, let us see one more question mm, i think okay i saw one question and i the person had asked a question to you uh, okay what was the question i need to pull it a- if anybody has any question please post it up i see uh, okay here we have what is this uh, austin okay fee great to see osler Thomas, a great inspiration. Glad 
uh, you are a part of a big family. Yes, all compliments. There are no questions for you, Osler. I think your session was good enough, either good enough uh, to give the message clearly or too confusing that they could not understand anything. Something of that sort. But, oh, yeah, I have one come. CB Kumar. CB Kumar has a question for you. Uh, sir, uh, from your 20 years of experience, can you define what success means? I think he has done it, but you can just give it in a one-liner, uh, Osler, for CB Kumar. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you know, uh, success, success means helping other people succeed. So I'm very successful because I have helped a lot of people succeed in life. So multitudes of them. That's why I'm very happy. So success for me is about money, it's about cars, it's about travels. It's helping others get what they want. So helping others succeed is what success is for me. Okay, great. Now, this is a quick fire round. So, you have to answer uh, uh, questions in less than 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm pulling up a next question. That's from Babu Ram Sharma. The question is, is there any way to show the plan of DXN, including the 3P profile of the company, product and plan? Is there any idea or some videos or books, etc. you can recommend? Okay, it's very simple. You don't have, you don't need to complicate things. So, uh, my way of presentation is just sharing my story. You share your story. Why did you why did you choose DXN as a company? You don't have to talk about Ganoderma. You don't have to talk about organic germanium. You don't have to talk about 6%, 21%. The, the, the story, why you joined DXN? Did you not join DXN because you'll be earning 37% commission? I don't think so. So... I'm a very good I'm very good at presentations because I'm a very good storyteller. No? So when you talk about the products, talk about the experiences you had, talk about the feelings you had when you took RGL. Discuss uh, share to people how you felt when you drank this coffee. So what did you feel when you drew the XN? When you listen to Dr. Lin? telling you about what this company is. What did it make you feel? So the challenge is, how are you going to share the marketing plan, the business opportunity in a story format? Because that is where people can relate to you. You don't need books to do that because it's your story. And it's always perfect when, when you tell it to them because it's your story. So that's why I'm very consistent during my presentations because I always mention my story. That's it. Okay, great. So we have another question from Shehzad Talib. What is the importance of social media in DXN business? 30 seconds, Osler. Well, uh, social media is very important because it's a trend right now. No, now, now we are on lockdown. So what will you do? Will you just stay at home and stay lame there? So we need to do three things. Prospecting, presentation, and duplication. And with social media, Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, Skype, you can do just that. So the challenge is you're not facing people B2B, but you are facing people through your screens. So the challenge is how fast can you type the ideas that comes into your mind. But just the same, you must do it. So social media, I'm, I'm 58 years old. I'm not very well versed about this, this uh, technology. But remember, I studied Zoom in less than one hour. Now I studied Skype just... A while back and i know how to operate it already see so you must get into it because it is what's in right now osla it's easy for you you are a civil engineer you can build anything you can build a career you can build relationship you can build any thing but it is difficult for people okay next question you already answered but i want to pull this up thapa from himachals asks you how old is osler Oh, I'm 58 years old. I was born October 4 of 1962. So, so I think Tapa I'm still young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Osler is young. Okay, we have uh, Avnish Kumar, but I, I don't see his question making any sense. What will do about motivational speaker? Oh. How I think he <laughs> wants to ask uh, wh how can somebody be a motivational speaker in just a few seconds. I think, as you said, you know, just share your stories. Your stories are good enough to motivate others, you know. Okay, let mm -hmm. me see. 
uh, Eden Torres, Eden Torres, I am one of your top fan. You must reward me a Lingzi coffee uh, after a lockdown. He, she wants Eden Torres wants you to reward her with a uh, coffee when uh, the lockdown is over. Okay, so anyways, okay. Sure. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we, we have we have Shivram Kurse, sir. In what way you believe DXN? Oh, that's a very very touching question. In what way do you believe DXN? I believe DXN 100%. No, believe is either or. No, it's either 100% or zero. So I have complete belief. Yeah, I have complete belief in the system. Okay, great. Uh, we have again Shah Zad Talib. What is the importance of social media in DXN? Or did you use? Uh, I think you already answered that. Then we have one coming mm -hmm. from uh, Manjunath Patkar. When you are conducting meeting to your team weekly or daily basis how often do you conduct your meeting weekly or daily well it depends no? on their need no? uh, tomorrow i'll be i'll be having an eight o'clock meeting with my team in canada but i never force anyone to attend trainings no? so it's either they request me to do it or not no? so if they don't request i don't care okay. <laughs> so i don't force them to attend my trainings i make them want to attend training so they request me to do it so it's an open See? school not a uh, you know school that you have to come this is the time no it's an open learning yeah. platform yeah okay i have mm -hmm. another one a good compliment coming from mehnaz kiran uh, she's from pakistan she says oslo thomas you told me about sharing the story i tried the same it really works thank you so much so here is a proof of what you have been teaching people share your story mehnaz kiran uh -huh. Yeah, she's my friend. I met her recently in Dubai. Okay. <laughs> she's a good leader. I think you gave her the advice of sharing the story and that's why she's complimenting yeah. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, here we have, yes, the compliments can be read later. I'm just picking up the questions. Okay, now we have Oli Bimal. Uh, Bimal is asking you how to be a good book reader, sir. My English not good, my Hindi not good. In Nepali, not available. <laughs> so he has a difficult time. Okay. His English is not good. His okay. Hindi is I'll not share good. your story. What should he do? I'll share you a very good story. Please. I have a very good friend. His name is Shiraz. No? Shiraz from India. Uh -huh. And when I the first time I met him, I met him in a cruise. No, he used to be an auto rickshaw driver. And when we met on a cruise, no, he told me. Osler, do you know that before I could not speak English? And I asked him, then why can you speak English now? And you even do trainings in English and you're so so good at it. He told me, because I decided to learn English. So it all starts with the decision. And he told me, he never read anything that was written in Hindi. He only read newspapers, books in English. At first, he did not understand the word. He did not understand the word. He never watched television in Hindi. He just watched English movies. And in one month, he told me, he learned one word. And the word was yes. Yes. <laughs> but look at him now. He's so successful because he just decided to learn it. He became successful because I decided to Become successful. So my advice to this guy is if you your Hindi is not good, your Nepal is not good, decide to be good at it. Decide to be good at reading and you can do it, my friend. So Oli Bimal, I think you have answered your answer. If you don't know Hindi, you don't know English, you don't know Nepal, 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 you don't know so that your message could come to us, definitely you can do that. That means you can definitely write and you can read also. Put in a little more effort. Okay. Okay. Now let us take another question that comes from Fred Erwin Tolentino Valdez. What is the one thing, just one thing, okay, Osler, that made you what you are now? Ups Osler. One thing. Only one thing. Okay. The desire of people become like that's it. No, no, no. You, you, the voice got cut. Please tell me again. I think. 
Is there a problem with that? So when when you say that one thing, that only that one thing gets away. Please tell me what is that? Yeah, I cannot hear you. Oh, you cannot hear me. Okay, let me just check. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Now can you? What hear happened? Me? Can you hear me? Uh, there's a problem with your transmission. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. I cannot hear you. Oh, you cannot hear me. Okay. So I think you have a problem with your microphone. Yeah, microphone problem. I think. Let me just check. Uh, yes. So we. Can you call me again? You just. Uh, yeah, yeah. I will call you again. So till that time, uh, we will just. Uh, you know. That was Osler. We will try to call him again and see if he can. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, great. So what was the question again? Yeah, the question was okay. Now let me pull that question up. Oh, where did you go? I think we are having some connectivity issues uh, right now. And uh, yes, Osler. Okay, Osler. The question was a very important question. Yes, so yeah, I'm back online. Yeah, so I was facing some connectivity issue, connectivity issues at my end, but I think that brings us to the end of this wonderful discussion that we had today uh, with uh, Oslo Thomas, and uh, uh, we would love to hear from him on a special day with a special, uh, you know, topic. You know, I think so. If you give Oslo a particular topic, bad I know. So thank you so much, and see you soon. Take care. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Take care. Okay. So, friends, Bye. friends, that was Osler, and uh, Osler uh, gave us a fantastic insight into different things about our own personality, how to handle our personality. He coming out from the most uh, difficult times in his life, and he is a winner. He is a successor. He has succeeded in pulling himself out from all the messes of life to bloom like a lotus flower that blooms in all the uh, you know um, you can say the mud that's dirty around so aap ye baat samajh lo hustler se aap seekho har ek ki ek kahani hoti hai aur yahi kahaniyan aapko bechni hai aap apni zindagi ki kahani kaise banate ho aap apni zindagi ke film ke hero kaise bante ho ye aapko decide karna hai aap hi khud producer ho aap hi khud director ho aap hi khud actor ho और आपको ये ज़माना देखेगा इसीलिए वक्त ज़ाया किए बगैर जो भी परिस्थिति में ज़िंदगी ने आपको डाला है उस ज़िंदगी के परिस्थिति को एक्सेप्ट करते हुए उसमें अपना किरदार पूरी तरह निभाते हुए ओके okay? आपको अगर दुख में डाला है उस दुख के कैरेक्टर में आप इतना अच्छी तरह निखर के आना कि आपको जब देखे लोग आपकी कहानी जब सुने तो रोंगटे खड़े हो जाए और ये आप कर सकते हो आप अच्छे एक एक्टर हो ये आप कभी मत भूलना हम यहाँ पे एक ये दुनिया एक, एक क्या बोलते हैं स्टेज माना जाता है एक नाटकीय रूपांतर है हमारे इस स्वयं का इसमें हमने अपना रोल अच्छी तरह निभाना है और सब लोग अच्छी तरह निभाओ और आगे बढ़ो चलो इसी के साथ आज का सेशन टुडेज सेशन वी जस्ट फिनिश अप वी हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम विद ऑस्लर सो वी सी यू मे बी टुमारो विद अ न्यू प्रोग्राम दैट नो नॉट द न्यू प्रोग्राम वी हैव दिस प्रोग्राम कमिंग आउट एवरी ट्यूजडे दैट्स बिजनेस टॉक्स एंड वी विल सी जिजित ऑन द अदर साइड टू डिस्कस समथिंग मोर अबाउट द प्लान टिल देन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्पेंडिंग टाइम टेक केयर एंड स्टे सेफ स्टे एट होम एंड take in a lot of dxn products because you need to build up and boost up your immune system thank you so much bye bye are you scared yet they say this thing it kills your immune system attacks your lungs makes it hard to breathe and is spreading <laughs> spreading like wildfire Uh, causing havoc your friends and family are going to get it if they don't already have it it's tragic i tell you madness scientists say old people get it worse but most get it eventually <laughs> they say this is new but no 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 this has been around for centuries look at history it's just a different name a different strain and now there's no way to contain it it affects the rich poor young old the unknown the famous it's dangerous everyone's on edge locked inside of their homes nervously borders are closed countries declare a state of emergencies 
Grocery stores are empty. Nobody's praying in church. The world has gone to crap. No wonder toilet paper sold out first. The stock market crashed. Thousands laid off work. Hand sanitizer is going for a million dollars a squirt. You better not sneeze because no one's going to say God bless you. They might even arrest you. I don't mean to stress you, but washing your hands obsessively in the restroom will not protect you. Friends, I'm not talking about coronavirus. Now this is a virus even more deadly. The F virus. You've seen it. It spreads every minute like an epidemic. It lives on surfaces, most commonly remote controls, TV screens, cellular phones. It makes you desperate. Doctors say every time you scroll down your feed, you get reinfected. It invades the brain. And when it mutates, it turns into hatred and blame. China did it. No, no, Italy did. No, no, Iran. No, Spain. Oh, I didn't make it clear. The F virus, ladies and gentlemen, is fear. But don't be afraid. Despite what you hear or see on your TV, there is good news during this tragedy. To fight loneliness, people are performing concerts on their balconies. The UAE sent aid to Iran. Japan donated supplies to China for free. Written on them was a poem that said, We are waves from the same sea. Listen to me, like every tragedy, we can let this destroy us, or we can use it to our benefit and repair relationships with our sisters and brothers, wipe away silly grudges, because when it's all said and done, all we ever really had in this world was each other. So yes, let's flatten the curve and expand our hearts. Let's social distance, boost our immune systems, be mindful of where we put our hands, but also where we put our attention. Be alert, not fearful, because the F virus is a pandemic easily transmitted. If you do contract it or exhibit symptoms, we recommend immediately dialing the hotline of a level-headed friend. If you are exposed through your TV, change the dang station. Decontaminate yourself through dance, laughter, and meditation. 2020 has been morbid. From Kobe to COVID, may we use these tragic moments to finally wake up to what's important. Right now, tell someone that you care for them. Yes, right now, tell them that you cherish them. If they are not in the same room, ring them up and tell them you will always be there for them. Because together is how we will rise above. The only vaccine for this F virus and every other virus is love.